One of the things that you can do is also get 3D models. So in, if I go to, um, I've just gone to Safari here and I've gone to something called Sketch, Sketchfab. Okay, and in Sketchfab I've made an account and so now I can search for things and I can look for um, different options, okay? And some of them are paid for, so I'm going to look for, uh, let's see, more filters. Um, I'm gonna go for downloadable, so I can download some of these. Um, I don't necessarily want, um, I don't necessarily want to have uh, an animated one, but I could. Um, so there are options here where I can download different content. So how does that work? Well, um, let's find one. If I go here, loading 3D model. Now I'm going to go download 3D model. Now what I'm looking for is the USDZ file. So that's this one here. So I'm gonna download that. It says this model is free, so it's allowing me to download it. You can see it here. Now this is how it comes up. So I'm gonna hold on to here, okay? And I'm going to, it's actually opening it in, it's opening this, this file. So I don't wanna do that yet. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, that, that's, if I wanna tap it, I can do that. Or I can go save to Oops, sorry. Oh, there it is. Save to file. Sorry about that. Now I'm just, I have a folder that I've made already. You can put it, but make sure you're saving it on your iPad and I'm going to save. Okay. So it's giving me that, the, the um, thing up there. Let's go back and now let's go into reality composer and let's, um, Okay, let's just start a new project. That's fine. Let's do it on the horizontal plane and let's go imported. So now I can see that file there. So I'm gonna import that file into my Reality Composer. So I'm gonna select, there it is, select that. Oh, look at that, that's kinda of cool. So when I press play, you can see there it is. That's my file. Now, I can, um, let's add another one here. I'm just going to select another one. Oops, uh, imported. I've got this hazel kicking one, which is really cool. So I'm going to select that one. Okay. And if I press play, you see, again, there they are. Now let's, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go into, um, let's go into behaviors and let's add a new behavior. Again, I'm going to say custom. Um, when the scene starts, I want look at camera. So I'm gonna select, let's select this one and this one. Select two objects. And they're gonna look at me, let's just keep it for 20 seconds. The front facing me. So that looks, that looks okay. See what that looks like. It's not gonna work here because I don't have, I'm not using the AR part. So let's, let's try that out. So I'm happy with that. Let's go to AR and let's give them a place. Okay, wow, they're really big. So I'm gonna pinch down to make them a bit smaller. A bit smaller. Okay, and now I'm gonna press play. And they're ch as I turn, you see how they're facing me? So they're turning and facing towards the camera. I know that might be a little creepy, but that's a, a kind of a cool little thing that you can do. So I'll press stop there, turn off the AR. So you have that option of what you can do with these, with these characters. It's just um, very cool that they can face the camera.